they ever made a remake of The Godfather, I would love to play Michael Corleone. That would be you true. know what's funny? I Googled you today, right, to get an image, to get everybody excited about this interview. And I found the sickest picture of you. And I was like, oh my God, this dude looks so incredible. Look. Oh yeah. That was, a, that was, that was one of my first ever photo shoots. I, was, uh, I, uh, I just kind of started acting and we recreated um, that shot um, of, um, God, what's his face? Um, it, it's, a, it's a famous Bond, Bond picture. Yeah. The king feels it is time for you to get married. Prince Frederick is about your rage. You are be craving power, princess. We'll have to keep an eye on you. Put your eyes back inside your head. Sir Thomas is a fine man. If I was an actor, that's the type of role I would want. He's funny, fun. he's rude, he's arrogant, he's bossy, he's a flirt, like everything possible. Um, you said this was very complex as a role and one of the most challenging. Explain to me why you said that. Well, um, he's a complex person. He's all of the things that you just said. You know, he's, he's kind of fun and passionate. Um, he's also very tender and very loving, but he's, uh, he's an ambitious guy who's run by his heart over his head. Um, and uh, he makes decisions in later episodes that are, are very hard for Tom me as a person to come to terms with so it was challenging to um to kind of keep him in my head the hero of the piece um and not to judge him or his actions it was it was difficult um he's he's a he's a very complex person um uh, and i i really wanted audiences to like him and to hate that they like him um, or that people might just straight up hate it. You know? No, no, no. I mean, I'm only one episode in, and it's funny because I spoke to Jessica yesterday, who plays Catherine, and I've got the same feeling I have for her as I have for your character, because I think the two of them are kind of, do I love them? Do I hate them? Am I supposed to cheer for them, or am I supposed to be against them? But to yeah. watch, and I said this to her, they're so exciting, because those characters that you don't quite know as a viewer what you're supposed to feel, I think they're just brilliant to watch. Yeah, I think I think you're right. And actually, just to kind of like echo what you were saying, I think that every character in the show uh, is that complex. There is nobody that you kind of go, oh, they're a, they're the hero, they're a good person. Everybody is um, is a bit of an asshole. Everyone is a bit of a you know is a bit of a hero. Um, and I think that's one of the strengths of the show and Anya's writing. Um, yeah, the characters are very, 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 very three dimensional. Do you get used to the clothes going into period pieces, um, wearing beards, like is and picking up armor? Is this just like is your wardrobe like always ready? Because I feel like you always get to do these type of roles, or is it still something that you kind of think, ah, oh, history? I want to get my teeth into this. I want to learn as much as possible about this particular era. And obviously, this has been documented, parts of it. Part, well, yeah. I, I mean, this part of her. Elizabeth's life it hasn't really been documented as far as I'm aware um, and it I'm, I'm amazed because it's such a fascinating part of her history and quite shocking actually and really illuminating about what made her who she is um, uh, and for me you know like I, I, I love playing uh, historical parts and every time it's completely different you know I've, I've never done uh, Tudor period and, the first time you put the costume on, um, <laughs> you know, it doesn't it doesn't feel like yours. It feels like a costume, and it takes a little bit of time before you start to really feel like you own it, um, and it then becomes so much part of the, the character's identity. Um, and it's so fun, you know, um, because sometimes the costumes make you move differently and yeah. can really help inform your your character. I don't know who said it, but there was an actor recently that said, and I thought it was strange at the time, but then I actually thought about it and I was like, that makes perfect sense. He said he always picks a particular pair of shoes yeah. for the character he becomes, because he said he walks differently, he, he everything about it just helps him get into the character. And at the time I was like, mm, that makes no sense. But actually it really does. Yeah, lots of actors do that actually. It starts, I think that's quite a common thing, using the shoes. I tend to find uh, a trinket, like a thing, that's the nice. characters and 
that they have in their hands or they play with or that that becomes their their thing and if ever I'm feeling like I'm losing the character a little bit I'll just go back to this little thing and and it'll remind me who he is. The way you behave with Elizabeth. Everyone thinks I am a fool to have married you. There is a particular scene in episode one that everyone's going to watch and it's your character waking up from a heavy night and he's asleep on a windowsill. Elizabeth gets him up. I won't tell people what's going to happen, but I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. Um, I'm wondering you in real life, um, Tom, do you, what's been the strangest place you've ever woken up? There's been a few. Mm. Um, uh, I've woken up in different cities before and not known how I've got there. Um, what? Yeah, um, you know, well, not known how I've got, I've known how I've got there, but it's always been a bit of a surprise, you know, you know that moment where you kind of wake up and go, wow, yeah. how did I end up, how did I end up here? <laughs> um, back in my younger days, yeah, I had quite a lot of fun, so that, 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 that would happen. But I think probably the strangest place I've woken up. I'm, I'm from Wales, so, you know, it's pretty normal to wake up and feel. Don't make me Edward, please. A king can't change his mind just because you want him to. Lovely to chat to you. Um, good luck with the series. Loving it so far. And have fun shooting whatever you're shooting at the moment. Thanks, Max. Cheers. Okay. You think I've ever got what I've wanted? You're a princess. Exactly.